Tonight on CBS 19 News at 10, a story of bravery, hope, and sacrifice. One woman in East Texas is helping young girls in Kenya escape a life of torture. Caroline Gachibi has devoted her life to these girls, abandoned by their families, or refusing a traditional practice of mutilation, which you may have heard about. How she's supporting them and trying to abolish this primitive practice. It's a special Children Are Gift tonight at 10. Now under this morning's top stories. Good morning and thank you for joining us. For the CBS 19 This Morning Update, I'm Dana Huey. And I'm Clint Yates. A developing story we're following. Tyler Police are working leads after four convenience stores are robbed over the past five days. Two suspects are still on the loose this morning. The four stores hit are only a few miles apart. Surveillance video from the first robbery shows two men going into a store. This one gets the cash. The other keeps a lookout. In all four robberies, there are two suspects and both are wearing bandanas over their faces. Happening now, a New Orleans law firm says it's representing families affected by a pipeline spill near the Texas-Louisiana border. At least 360 workers are cleaning up 4,000 barrels of crude oil near Caddo Lake. It's spilled from a pipeline that runs from Longview to the Midwest. Pipeline operators say the spill never reached the lake which provides drinking water for thousands of people. As of last night, 2,900 barrels of oil have been recovered from the October 20th spill. And yesterday, we incorrectly reported there might be charges involved in the matter. The U.S. Department of Transportation is actually considering changes to its restoration plans at the spill site. We apologize for the error. People who live inside Smith County but outside of Tyler and Lindale have an extra item to vote on in the November election. For the first time, Emergency Services District No. 2 is having its board members elected instead of appointed. One member will serve each of the shaded sections of the county. The ESD uses $4.5 million tax dollars each year to pay for firefighting and other safety efforts. We have links to both websites that endorse candidates. Just go to our website, cbs19.tv, and click on the hot button. You may want to grab your umbrella today. Yeah, some rain's on its way. Here's Scott with details. Clint Dana, your Tuesday forecast involves a slow-moving cold front today, causing some showers along and north of the Red River counties of East Texas during the morning hours this morning. And as the front sags into the I-20 corridor after lunchtime today, between about 1 and 3 o'clock, an enhanced likelihood for scattered showers and storms area-wide this afternoon. A 30 to 40 percent chance should hit the mid-70s by noon, hit a high today of 80 by mid-afternoon, then temps back down behind the front, falling in to the mid 70s by your drive home with a northeast wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Won't see a lot of moisture with this front until mid to late afternoon, shortly before sunset tonight. As a cold front sags into the central and southern tier of counties, stalling out across deep east Texas as we head into the overnight hours tonight. We'll see some residual moisture along and south of mainly the Highway 31 corridor to kickstart your Wednesday morning. Otherwise, variably cloudy skies early, decreasing clouds, cooler weather tomorrow. Morning lows in the upper 50s. High tomorrow afternoon near 73. For the very latest all day long, go to our website, cbs19.tv.